Come thrifting with me. Today I'm thrifting at Compassion Thrift in Bolivar, Missouri. We are on our way home from vacation and so I decided to make just a few stops. And I was very excited to see it had half off of all Christmas items. They had cards by the front door. They had some really cute vintage ones, but I was looking for birthday cards. I did get a pretty good stack even though they aren't vintage and I did find one vintage anniversary card. They were only 10 cents each. You guys know I'm a sucker for wood and gold frames. I love the tilt of that one. It was only a dollar, so I grabbed it. And I was very excited when I walked back into this warehouse. Christmas stuff started calling to me. I saw this ornament hanger. I have one, but I like this rope design better. It was only 50 cents. I also liked this. It was so small. It was only 50 cents. And I just kept finding things very quickly that I loved. I love this ornament. I feel like it's right up my alley. No price, but I assumed it was going to be good based on the other items. I don't have Christmas tins, but I love this old fruitcake tin. And I debated it for a while, but for 50 cents, I'm going to give it a try. And you know I spotted brass from far away. This was such a heavy-duty piece. Only a dollar. It had glass inside to hold the candle. Perfect. And these are my Christmas dishes. They're the exact same. They had mismatched number of items, but I thought I would check the big plates to see how much they were. They were only 50 cents. And I have a complete set, but it's always nice to have a couple more in case they get broken. So now I was forced to grab a cart, which I wasn't upset about. I talked myself into checking the smaller plates. They were only a quarter each, so I grabbed those as well. And I'm so sorry I did leave the teacup plates behind. I already don't use mine. I know this is just a basket, but I feel like there's so much potential here for 50 cents. I can put a fake plant in there, something for Easter. So cute. I also really like this brass napkin ring, even though I don't think it's real brass. I think I'm going to use it as an ornament. And this 10 cent bottle, um, it used to be for medicine. I'm going to use it for Halloween. With prices for 10 cents and 25 cents, they make it easy to get a lot. I don't typically decorate with silvers, but I did need some silver items around Independence Day. I loved this salt and pepper shaker holder, and I basically talked myself into it. I hope it cleans up well. The candlestick holders on this are real brass. I didn't love the wooden part, so I did put it back. Books were only 25 cents. Can you believe that? Look at the beautiful color of this dictionary. So cute. I'm going to use that for decorating. They had so many vinyls and I fatigued pretty early on. I wanted that one, but it was water damaged. It was actually still wet. And even though I had this, this was an original Jean Autry and the record was missing. After debating getting West Side Story, I talked myself out of it and decided to just move on from vinyls. They're generally picked through. There was one more room to see before I left, which was mostly furniture, but they did have some crafting items. Of course, there was counted cross stitch, which I am incapable of doing. And now I'm understanding why they're always in the thrift store. And then you guys know I'm a container person. This little 50 cent basket was just so unique. I talked myself into it. Who knows what I'm going to do with it, but I bet it'll be cute. Overall, I got way too much for being on the road. My husband helped me pack it in here. They were actually all very understanding about my stops. I spent $8.85. Not bad.